Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the equilibrium moisture content. First, let's define what is moisture content. Moisture content is the amount of water present in the material, the ratio of the mass of water contained in the pore spaces of soil to the solid mass of particles in the material. How to calculate moisture content of a material. Oven method of determining moisture content dry basis moisture content the percentage equivalent of the ratio of the weight of water to, to the weight of the dry matter. Wet basis moisture content the percentage equivalent of the ratio of the weight of water to the total weight of the wet matter. What is equilibrium moisture content? Equilibrium moisture content is the moisture level, where hygroscopic materials such as agricultural and biosystems. Materials neither gain nor lose moisture because their moisture has equilibrated with their surrounding. If the moisture content of the food does not vary with the time for a given combination of water vapour pressure and air temperature, it is then said it has reached the equilibrium moisture content and hygroscopic materials will take in or give up moisture to equilibrate to the moisture condition of their environment. For example, if the moisture content of a carrot is higher than the environment, the carrot will begin to release some moisture trying to equilibrate with its surrounding. On the other hand, the carrot will take on moisture if the surrounding has a greater moisture content than it. What are the factors affecting AMC? Temperature, relative humidity and chemical composition of the material affects AMC. If a food sample of same initial moisture content and vapour pressure is exposed to air having different vapour pressures, it will come to equilibrium at different moisture content values. Therefore, it can be understood that MAC is dependent on the air vapour pressure, which in turn depends on the temperature and relative humidity of air. Figure 3 shows the graphical representation of change of MC with different vapour pressures of 1 to V4. For example, a shelled corn at air having 70 relative humidity and 40 def, MAT is 15.7, whereas it is 10.3%, 140 degree Fahrenheit. A change in the chemical composition can affect the EMC of food products. Foods with high oil content absorb less moisture from the surrounding air. Also, previous moisture adoption desorption history of food affects MAC values. Plotting different MAC values with relative humidity at constant temperature results in sigmoid type shaped. The equilibrium moisture content elaborated by an example given by Hall 1980. If wheat and oats having 16% moisture content are kept in the environment of 86 degrees Celsius, a relative humidity, wheat will absorb moisture and oat will lose. This is because of the different vapour pressures of the moisture in wheat and oat. That above air temperature and humidity. The vapour pressure of wheat is 0.454 pound per square inch and oat is 0.477 pound per square inch, whereas vapour pressure of moisture in air at 86 degrees Celsius and 75% relative humidity is 0.461 pound per square inch. Therefore, wheat will gain moisture from air as vapour pressure of air is more than wheat. At the same time, oat will lose moisture as its vapour pressure is higher than air. There is always tendency of movement of moisture from higher vapour pressure to lower vapour pressure. The figure shows the movement of moisture from and to food. What is the importance of equilibrium moisture content? The concept of equilibrium moisture content is important in the study of drying and storage of fruits, vegetables and grains. The MEC helps to decide the stability of food at particular moisture content in the given environment. The EMC values of several grains and foods have been determined by several research workers and reported in literature. If exposed to air, high moisture foods, loose moisture whereas low moisture foods gain moisture and humid air. EMC determines the minimum moisture content to which food can be dried under a given set of conditions. Also, it determines the maximum amount of moisture the dehydrated food can absorb during storage. Thank you for watching. For more learnings, kindly hit the like and subscribe button to show support in our channel.